if someone can convince you to give up, you should give up. Like the people who make it are the ones who refuse to stop. If you find yourself easily swayed that maybe this isn't for you, that's a good sign that it isn't for you because it is a brutal business that has a lot of, you know, there's a lot of rejection and you do have to kind of have this compulsion, this Herzog-like compulsion to continue uh, in order to make it through. You kind of have to move to LA. I mean, if you want to be in this business, it's very hard to do it from, you, you know, it's a degree of difficulty harder if you're not here. Anything you can write that will in itself feel like a good piece of writing is worth doing. Uh, anything that you are enthusiastic enough that you're psyched to get up and write it in the morning, you should do. You have to find smart people who are willing to read your work and give you advice. That's a really crucial thing that I think people forget. It's impossible to be your own editor and your own censor, and you need to find some people whose opinions you trust uh, and keep them around you. And working with a writing partner is good for that reason too, if you can find one. Uh, just because it kind of forces you to make decisions. When you're writing a screenplay, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I'm writing this movie. I'm writing this movie that I see in my head. But the truth is you're not writing a movie. You're writing a screenplay, which is really an advertisement for the screenplay that will become a movie that might someday get made. In other words, it's like, a, you know, this screenplay is representing to someone, here's what I think this movie should be like, because it's gonna get rewritten, it's gonna get changed. You know, with very rare exceptions, that's the way it works.